Hey guys, we are here with Supermodels Unlimited Magazine. I'm Sarah, and this is Sarah Rose Summers, Hello. Miss USA. And we are very happy to have you here today. Thank you, I'm so excited to be here. So I got a couple of questions for you. Shoot. So we were there in Shreveport when you were crowned, and I have to say you were glowing that Thank night. You. So can you kind of give us a play-by-play -play of what was going through your head during <laughs> crowning? Through crowning? No, I can't. I honestly feel like it was just an emotional blur after they said Nebraska. Mm -hmm. But since you were there, you you were able to see Kaylin and I, Miss North Carolina, are great friends. And we just clicked um, from the beginning. And she's already visited New York twice. And we talked on the phone for over an hour yesterday. And we said, oh my gosh, it's been an hour. Because <laughs> My family might be watching this and they'll be like, she hasn't even talked to me for an hour. <laughs> Sorry guys, I love you. But I just have been so busy. Mm -hmm. And so the talk to moment was just so surreal and I remember every moment of it. You know, they drag on the, after they announce the third runner up, Carolina, love her so much. Nevada and Nebraska are right next to each other. So I got to know her pretty well, mm -hmm. which was special. So the top five I was all really close with. Yeah. Um, but then it's down to the top two and it feels like they just drag it on forever. They're like, I'm this sure. is what they do and blah, blah. And so I remember that and we were giggling about it. We hugged and we said, you know, whoever wins this thing, we're gonna visit the next one. Mm -hmm. And it is, that's like a dream come true to be the top two and know that either way you're going to be happy yeah so that's awesome but then when they said nebraska i, just, <laughs> I was gone <laughs> most recent is the greatest showman hmm, crazy dreams by carrie underwood it's pretty old but i can still jam out to it i've always wanted to go to australia always always um oh, I, I want to hit every continent so I got a lot of, a lot of traveling to do. I have so many, I'm snacking all the time. Sometimes it's mini cucumbers if I'm on, if I'm being really good. And I love cherry tomatoes. I always have since I was a little girl. So those are healthy go-tos for me. Oh, I can't answer that. They're all my sisters <laughs> now. Oh my gosh, I don't like that one. Oh, yellow, it's so happy. And I just so happy to be wearing it right now. <laughs> Right now, I'm gonna say Ryan Seacrest. And although he might not be like the world's sexiest man cover, mm -hmm. his, what he's doing with his fame mm -hmm. in forming these, his Seacrest Foundation and then making these Seacrest Studios, I appreciate it, Ryan. What do you think the biggest problem facing young women is today? Hands down comparison. Um, in the world that we live in with social media, it's such a powerful tool to connect with people. I mean, I get to follow all 50 of my USA sisters on social media and see what's going on in their life, um, which is amazing. I also mm -hmm. have family friends out of the country and that's one way to keep up with what they have going on. And um, But if you find yourself scrolling over and over again through the same photos, right. or if you follow people that you see it and you feel oh, I'm better than that, or, oh, she makes me feel insecure. Unfollow them. Mm -hmm. I don't know why our generation and girls younger than us do this type of stuff. I spoke um, as Miss Nebraska USA to a sorority. Mm -hmm. So that's college age young women. And at the end of my presentation, I said, tonight I challenge you to go through everyone you follow and if you feel either superior or inferior, unfollow them. Mm -hmm. And it was like a light bulb went off in all of their heads. Like, huh, that's a good idea. That it, is a really it's so, good idea. It's so silly. Why wouldn't we do that, right? Yeah. So. Do you have a message that you really need to get through to people? You know, what's your your motto mm -hmm. in all of this? Mm -hmm. I mean, I know I already addressed not comparing yourself and going through and having a, a social media cleanse if you need it, but surround yourself by uplifting people and pour back toward them what you're getting and mm -hmm. just um, make sure you know that, make sure they know you love them and you appreciate them. Um, but another message that I'm really hoping to get out this year is I found my career path through volunteering. And a lot of times people say, oh, I've never heard of child life. You guys, I get it all the time. That's why I have to describe <laughs> it all the time. There are so many jobs out there that people have never even heard of. And you could find that. Um, yeah. You could find where your heart is. One of my favorite questions to ask 
at a dinner or a brunch or something with friends, we try to not be on our phones, so I encourage that too, is where's your heart service-wise? Like, if you got to go volunteer today, where would you go? And it's an amazing conversation starter. You get to see why they're passionate about what they're passionate about. Mm -hmm. I, I did this on Sunday with a friend and I had no idea she was about to talk to me about pollution. I had no clue. And she can make such a difference with that where I can in children's hospitals and speaking to young girls across the nation. So that's awesome. Find your thing <laughs> and then do it because it matters. Well, I thank you for being with me today. Thank you, you Sarah. You are stunning. And I You're wish so you the sweet. best of luck thank with you. your reign and at Miss Universe. So <laughs> thank you all for watching today. I'm Sarah Rose Summers, your Miss USA 2018, and SU is what we do. We love SU.